Welcome, everyone. I'm Francis Tomasino, and it's a pleasure to begin introducing our 2021 Hall of Fame class for Christopher Newport Athletics. And today we have our first of five Hall of Famers who will be joining the Hall of Fame next year, about a year from now, hopefully, after the pandemic, hopefully, and we can get uh, to a point where we have a, a real induction ceremony. But for now, we're going to meet our first Hall of Famer uh, here online, and it's Jalen Brown. Jalen is a, an outstanding men's soccer player from 2011 to 2014. He is still the career all-time program leader in points, goals, and uh, he's a three-time All-American and a three-time Conference Player of the Year. Our first Hall of Famer is Jalen Brown. Jalen, congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> it's great to see you again. I know a lot's changed since you've left Christopher Newport. You're on to some incredible things, but let's go back to the to the beginning when you were a, a youngster and playing soccer. I think you got to know the Christopher Newport program pretty well long before you came here to play. I did, yeah. I can remember as far back as maybe nine or ten years old, I was at, at the games watching with my family. And I think uh, Steve Shaw, of course, who was the Christopher Newport coach, uh, had a lot to do with youth soccer in your area. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. I, he was one of my coaches uh, here and there. Uh, yeah, about the same amount of time since I was maybe like nine, ten in that kind of time frame. As you got to know Coach Shaw, was it pretty apparent that he, he wanted you someday to join the captains and be a part of his program here? Actually, I would say no. I didn't really know much about um, that interest until I was maybe a senior in, or junior in high school. What made it uh, a good choice for you then to come here? Obviously, academically, that had to be a, a key, but uh, were you intimidated a little bit by the program and how, how good his programs had been? Um, Coach Shaw's a really good, uh, he's got a lot, he's really good with words. Mm -hmm. um, and so anytime that I talked to him at that point, like from my junior year on, um, he just made it sound like such a, a program that you want to be a part of. Um, the way that the community gets around the team, the way that the, the team acts with each other, the, the family type of uh, environment that it is. Uh, he, he just, yeah, they, I mean, he makes it sound so good. And it written them when you get here and, you know, you do like a recruiting trip or anything like that. And you see the team, the quality of the facility, the, you know, everything was just, I mean, just, it was like, wow, this is an incredible place to be. I want to, I want to be a part of it. Coming to Christopher Newport, uh, the year that you came in, in 2011, obviously the team was, was very good. What was it like playing on that very first team? Um, yeah, so to your point a little bit ago, it was pretty intimidating. Um, I knew they were, they usually made pretty good runs in the NCAA tournament. And, uh, I had known some of those guys, um, from my youth because a lot of them played, you know, in Williamsburg and, uh, some of those areas. And, uh, so I had seen them. I had always known that they were really good players. And, uh, so it was pretty intimidating when you first show up, but, um, again, with that kind of family mindset that the team had, and still has it's um once you get going and you're with them for maybe a week even and you kind of feel start to feel comfortable with those guys and then and then it's just from there it was it was a lot of fun yeah your entire career had some incredible success and uh the success ended up going to three ncaa tournaments which had to be a, a great thrill for you yeah absolutely um the first one was pretty uh that was that was probably the most nervous I've ever been in a soccer game, just because there's so <laughs> many fans and uh, it's such a big deal. And uh, but yeah, they were that was some of the highlights of my career for sure. Yeah, I was going to ask you, looking back, is there a game or a couple of games that maybe stand out in your career as a captain? Yeah, there's a few. Um, the first one that comes to mind is uh, we played against Stevens. Um, and that was the second game of my senior year NCAA tournament. And we were losing two to zero. Uh, and we came back and won four to two, uh, scoring, I think all of our goals in the second half. And it was like a, 
there was a ton of fans. It was raining. It was kind of cold. It was just a, it was a home game. So it was a, that was a blast. And of course, uh, your senior year uh, was an elite eight appearance in the NCAA, as I recall. And, and I'm, as I recall, I think it was one Jalen Brown who got the game winning goal to get to the elite eight. Is that right? That was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scored yeah. the third one there. That maybe is one that you would remember too for a little <laughs> while. Tell the Absolutely. kids and the, the grandkids about that one. Uh, Jalen, after graduation, tell us a little bit about what you've been doing the last few years and, and where you are now. Yeah, so uh, after immediately after college, I tried to um, – I wanted to play professional soccer, so I was trying to pursue that um, for probably about a year. I tried uh, to – unsuccessfully to pursue it, and then um, – in 2016, I got a, uh, a message from uh, one of my teammates, actually, Alec Faulkner, um, uh, and he had managed to get onto a team over in Australia, and um, he just happened to talk to the coach, and the coach was interested in looking for a forward, and I kind of still had that dream, uh, still sort of chasing it, and he mentioned my name to the coach there um, and the coach was interested in me and so I took a leap and uh, went over and tried to play and ended up being successful and uh, so yeah the two of us and myself and Alec Faulkner uh, played for a year professionally over there in Australia um, and then when that season was done I kind of not that I wanted to give up the dream because it's the dream and, you know, it's like, it's a great thing, but uh, I also had other dreams and uh, one of those was to, was to be a pilot. Uh, and so I came back from there and uh, joined the air force and uh, got a pilot slot to, uh, to go to pilot training. And uh, since, let's see, when was that? September of this last year, I uh, graduated pilot training. And so now I'm on to more training uh, to be a, hopefully be a fighter pilot for the air force. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, thank you for your, your service and what you're doing now. It's, it's so important. And I know that, uh, looking back, uh, Christopher Newport will always be a big part of your, your memories and, and playing in Australia too, and getting a chance to do that. That's uh, a phenomenal career. And I know, uh, three-time all American that kind of follows you around for your whole life and three-time player of the year in the conference. Those are some pretty impressive accolades. Congratulations and welcome to the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, uh, I think with the player of the year and the All-American, that, that can be somewhat difficult to explain to someone who doesn't know anything about soccer. Mm -hmm. um, but Hall of Fame is, is a different, different thing entirely. Anybody that hears those words knows what it means. So it's a big honor and I'm, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you. Well, you're the first of five Hall of Famers that we're going to be welcoming to the class of 2021. We're going to do it each week for the next five weeks. So Jalen Brown, we, we went with alphabetical is the best way to do it. So <laughs> Jalen, you were up first. Congratulations. Welcome and uh, stay with us here. Come back and visit the next four weeks as we introduce the entire class of 2021 here on cnusports.com. <laughs> 